Hi, this is Adrian Miller, the Soul Food Scholar, dropping knowledge like hot biscuits. Uh, this time I'm telling you about my first book, Soul Food, The Surprising Story of an American Cuisine, One Plate at a Time, which won the James Beard Award for Scholarship and Reference in 2014. Uh, and the way that I wrote the book is I created a representative soul food meal and um, I created this meal and organized the chapters by taking a look at each part of the meal and explaining what it is, how it gets on the soul food plate, and what it means for the culture. So to go through the meal, uh, entrees could be fried chicken, some kind of fish, or chitlins, which are pig intestines, not for everybody. Um, those are either, either usually uh, fried or stewed. Um, and then greens as a side dish, and the soul food greens are collard, kale, mustard, turnip, and cabbage. So if you discovered kale in the last five to 10 years, welcome to the party. We've been eating it for about 300. Um, side, another side dish could be some kind of beans, like a black eye pea, even though it's called a pea, is actually a bean. Or uh, black beans or pinto beans are popular. Candied sweet potatoes or candied yams, which are a dark flesh sweet potato, uh, or macaroni and cheese. And then some kind of cornbread, although wheat bread is certainly common, but I think cornbread is more emblematic of the cuisine. Uh, and then hot sauce and then uh, some kind of red drink because I believe that red Kool-Aid is the official soul food drink. Um, and in soul food culture, red is a color and a flavor. So we don't get caught up in calling it cherry or strawberry that it has hints of cranberry or that it's tropical punch. It's just red. Now there is a generational shift happening. There's a lot of youngins that seem to like purple and blue. And as I wrote in my book, I do believe the children are our future, that we should teach them well and let them lead the way but not on Kool-Aid because they're messing it up. Uh, and then for dessert, you could have one of four, pound cake, peach cobbler, banana pudding, or sweet potato pie. So that is the way that I've organized the book. Uh, most of the chapters have recipes, some kind of traditional recipe, a health conscious one, and then a fancy recipe in case you want to show off as a cook. So I hope you pick up soul food and I hope you enjoy it. Peace.